How's it going guys? So I had someone leave a comment on one of my videos asking me to talk about the doublets and DC collaboration shoe that they made and something that was on my mind for a while as soon as I saw a video of Kalis skating it and I want to say first and foremost I think the shoe is sick because it plays into what DC is really well known for which is more of what you guys probably would consider if you are been skating for maybe like the last 10 years you probably would see this as a really puffy shoe or really big shoe and for me I don't necessarily see it as anything like that I see it more of a supportive and just a very detailed and busy looking shoe so for any of you guys that aren't familiar DC collabed with I think it's either a clothing brand or a distribution brand I looked at doublets and I was like I don't know when the hell this is I decided to google it I still don't know what it is but for whatever doublets is the owner or founder or he's higher up in the company he wanted to make a collab shoe of the shoes that he grew up wearing when he was younger and so he picked the DC Lynx the Kalis one and the legacy and so I have had all three of these shoes awesome shoes by the way but when it came down to how to incorporate all three of them I do have to give DC props because I think that they decided to do the absolute best I think they did I think DC did the absolute best as far as being able to put all three shoes together as one with only the exception of one thing I would personally change if for any of you guys that don't know Kalis when he was given the the ability to have his own shoe he pretty much just wanted the links he in an interview even states I pretty much just drew the links and they're like no you have to actually design your own shoe I think it would have been a cool tribute to especially because they're using his shoe I think it would have been a cool tribute to use the links sole because of the fact of yes it is you know supposed to be a collab of all three shoes and that would take away from the uh, legacy part however I think it would have been cool to do a Lynx sole because it is so very unique to how DC is keeping to the heritage of their brand. And also it would have been cool a little nod to Kalis because he loved the Lynx so much. So that's just my take on it. As far as the colors, there were three colors that dropped. There was an all white um, or off white, whatever you want to call it. Then there was, I think it was like white, gray, navy. And then there was a darker color. It was like black and uh, orange. It was, I. I'm not sure what the names of the, of the colors are, but you'll see them on the screen. But the only color I'd say I don't really prefer for that this shoe specifically is the darker one. And the reason for that is because of the fact of this is supposed to be a very busy shoe. This is a collaboration of three separate shoes in one. So this is something, especially uh, since I haven't mentioned it yet, this is supposed to be a $550 shoe. It's costing 550 bucks. So if you are buying a shoe for 550 bucks, I, and especially with something that is having three different shoes in one, and you see the details in all three shoes, I would want to be able to make sure that I can actually see those details. So for me, I like the idea that when it comes to the lighter color shoes, you can actually tell where the legacy starts and ends, and then the Kalis uh, portion of the shoe starts and ends and then you can see where the links finishes off to make it to where you actually get to see all the paneling you can see the layering you get to see the coloring and how the paneling all works together really well and i do not believe that the darker colorway personal opinion i don't think that really does it justice so for me i like all the colorways as far as like how they all blend together However, for this shoe in particular, I do not really care much for the darker colorway. That's just me. So, but I think honestly, it is not a very puffy shoe. It is not very bulky. And the reason is because you have so many layers uh, to make it to where you can see all three shoes combined in one. And it's not really heavily padded. Again, the pictures don't really do it justice and I do not have the ability to get my hands on the shoe. It uh, is no longer on the site, but I'll cover that in a second. So. This is a shoe that I don't see it as being super puffy. I don't see it really as being super big on foot, especially because if you watch on Kalis's Instagram, he actually does, he has a video where he does a tray in it. And you can see from top looking down, it's really not that bulky. I think the Lynx itself is probably a lot bulkier than this shoe because looking at the side uh, paneling of the shoe, there's not, it's really just layering. That's all it is. It's not 
you know, padding or support in that sense. It's more of just the layering to show all three shoes in one and that's it. So that's as far as the look of the shoe. I really like the shoe. I think it's awesome. And again, I think the the two lighter colorways kind of do it more justice just because you could see more of the paneling of the shoe, especially you would want other people to see what the shoe is, especially if they can recognize it. And you know, if you're one of those that like to show off what you buy, especially if it's expensive, I think the lighter colorways do it more justice. So, but when it comes to the shoe, I would love for there to be a, excuse me, less expensive version of the shoe, but I do not see that happening at all. I see it as more of just kind of a fashion statement than it is to actually skate. Obviously, I'm not gonna skate in $550 pair of shoes. That's absolutely just ridiculous. There's so many other shoes and options from not even just DC, but other brands that are way less expensive. But I think that it's kind of funny that it was on the DC website for, I'd like to say like three or four days. If you go to the DC website now, it's no longer there. It's on, it's still on a Japanese website. I don't know what the actual website is. However, it's not on the DC one. And there's no way I can believe that they still, that they still wouldn't have like straggler sizes. If any of you guys are Janowski fans, when it comes to like the, when they did the digital floral uh, release, I used to work at Zoomies, I've said that many times on this channel, but I was around when we did a lot of the Janowski releases. And even at the end of like the first week or even leading into like the end of the second week, there was always like the random size eight that no one wants to buy, the random size 13, maybe 112. But the mass majority of what people are going for is like around eight and a half, I'd say roughly maybe a nine to about an 11 and a half. Those are what sell the fastest and the easiest for any releases because that's what most people commonly wear. The vast majority of people do. So there's nothing on the DC side, not even the small sizes left for any of the colorways. And I'll try to see if I can find a link and put it in the description. So check there. I would hopefully have a link for you from the slap forums that talk about this. But it's on a Japanese website and most of the sizes are sold out. So that, that for, or if you're trying to buy it, it won't let you actually put it in the cart. But the main thing is, it's kind of weird that they already apparently have sold out and they're just straight up not making anymore. Especially if it's sold out for 550 bucks. I would think of that as being a reason to restock the shoe because if it's selling that good for that price, why not make more? Or at least kind of have a, you know, maybe one new size run of it and then it's completely done. But I think the shoe is sick. I would love to wear any of the, the colors that come out. Again, I just favor the lighter colors just so you can see the details of the shoe more. But it's it's a crazy shoe. If you are this kind of generation skater from the last 10 years and on, um, I think that you might not favor it because it is what you guys probably consider a bulkier shoe. But I like more of a supportive shoe. I like cup soles and I need that kind of support for my foot. So this is definitely a shoe that would kind of fit more of my style. But uh, overall, that's pretty much it. It's a done and done deal. You can't find it anywhere. It's not gonna be in hand. I wish I had something to show you, but I, I don't. It's it's a shoe that literally came and went. The only other thing I could really talk about if you want, if people were curious was the Louis Vuitton release from Lucy and Clark. You know, props to him for inking that deal. Get your money, little duffel bag boy. But the main thing is, you know, the doublets release is coming on. But that's it. Hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.